Hey guys, Dan the Mustang Doctor here today, here to talk to you guys about how a centrifugal supercharger works and how that works um, in terms of flow through an intercooler. So without further ado, I'm just going to turn things over to the car itself. This is a GT350 with a Vortex supercharger. Of course, this is a centrifugal supercharger. Um, you can go with positive displacement superchargers, which go right on top of the intake, and they drive positive um, air charge through. Or you can go with a centrifugal setup, which is kind of similar to a turbo, but it's using positive um, outside air uh, versus uh, exhaust uh, air. Um, and that's what we're going to talk about today. And I just kind of wanted to give you guys an a, a overall um, a visual of how the air flows through and how, how it works. Um, so essentially what happens here is you've got your um, air intake box here. Air is actually coming in right down there um, through the front here, right in there. And uh, so air is coming in, it's being sucked through an air filter, and here we have a K&N filter. It's coming through this intake tube and being sucked in uh, through the supercharger turbine. There's a little uh, turbine kind of fan looking thing in there. Um, it's being sucked in through there, um, and that's being sucked through the drive belt. So this belt is actually just your, uh, your typical drive belt on any car that goes around the crankshaft, air conditioner, um, alternator. It's really the drive belt that drives the engine as the engine's running. Um, as you're accelerating, that drive belt's moving faster and faster. So as that moves faster, it's turning that turbine even quicker. That's sucking even more air in um, faster, which is how you get more and more uh, boost um, as you accelerate through the RPM range. But anyways, the air's coming through the intake. It comes through the, the uh, intake air tube. It's being sucked through um, this turbine, which is building boost and power. Um, that's being sucked right through there and coming right down through that um, uh, intercooler uh, intake charge tube, you could call it. It's going down through there and coming around through here and right into this uh, intercooler, it's called. So that's a, a Vortec intercooler that sits in front of the uh, radiator for the car. Radiator cools the car. Um, intercooler uh, cools the uh, incoming air. So it's running through that intercooler. It's running down through here. And then it's running back up through this um, charge pipe, which is coming out right here. And uh, that is running straight in through the throttle body and into the engine. So again, the air is coming from the intake itself. It's running through the intake tube. It's being sucked through this supercharger right here, which is that. It's running through um, here and it's cycling through that intercooler, which is an air to air intercooler. As air comes in, it really cools this uh, air that's coming through the engine. So the supercharger is enhancing the, the air. It's, it's pulling more air than normal through the car. It's then being cooled through the intercooler, and it's coming back out through and right into the engine. And what's the benefit of cool air, right, you ask, and even more air for that matter? Well, basically what happens is in an engine, you're pulling in air, you're uh, dripping fuel, and you're building combustion. That's, that's exploding in the cylinder, and it's driving that crankshaft around, and that's making it turn faster and faster and faster as you get more combustion more quickly. So what happens is the more air you get in, the more fuel you can add, therefore exploding each uh, cylinder even quicker and quicker and quicker. Well, the best part is um, about the supercharger is one, it's pulling more and more air in much more quickly than just a typical throttle body is. The benefit of having an intercooled supercharger is it's cooling that air and cold air is more dense than warm air. So you can actually um, compact more and more air into each cylinder um, and into each combustion, making those combustions quicker and quicker and quicker, turning that crankshift faster and faster and faster. And as that crankshift turns, it's turning the drive shaft, or I'm sorry, it's turning the transmission, turning the drive shaft, and turning that rear axle in the car, making those wheels turn faster and faster. So you want more air and you want it cold. The colder, the better, because the more dense you can get. And one of the benefits, guys, with these centrifugal superchargers versus the uh, um, uh, typical roots type or twin screw positive displacement superchargers is these actually compress the air. So they actually compress the air and build more air um, uh, per uh, fuel, uh, fuel molecule and um, per combustion cycle. So um, both a positive displacement supercharger that sits on top that drives air quickly and up front um, is great, but a centrifugal is um, is also great in its own regard because again, it's compressing the air. The positive displacement superchargers do not compress the air. They just pull it in real quick. 
So um, we're getting compressed air, we're getting very cold compressed air, and uh, we're um, updating air to fuel ratios. Um, we've added 88 pound uh, fuel injectors to the car so we can get more uh, fuel injector pulse width um, and, and more and more fuel. So we're adding air, fuel, and that's certainly adding horsepower. So that's uh, a centrifugal supercharger for you guys and uh, air to air intercooler. Have a great day.